Hello everyone, and welcome to this tutorial video. MileSite products work seamlessly with ChirpStack, offering easy setup, strong compatibility, and reliable performance for the LoRaWAN network. Today, we'll show you how easy it is to add MileSite gateways and sensors to ChirpStack server. Let's take UG65 as the demo gateway and AM308 as the demo sensor, and break the operation procedure into three sections as follows. Configure gateway. Configure chirp stack. Configure sensor. Let's start. Let's start by logging into the gateway. Just enter your username and password, and click login. From there, you can quickly set up everything you need. The user-friendly web interface makes configuration simple and efficient. Navigate to Packet Forwarder and you can easily configure the network server your gateway connects to. Now let's disable Embedded Network Server. And there are two methods to integrate MileSite Gateway into ChirpStack Server. First, ChirpStack supports Semtech UDP Packet Forwarder. Just choose Semtech, configure the settings, and save. Alternatively, you can use the built-in MQTT Forwarder, which enables seamless integration with ChirpStack version 4 server. Just select ChirpStack version 4, enter your settings, choose the region ID matching your gateway's frequency band, and click Save. Click Save and apply to complete the gateway settings. Now we can see the gateway is successfully connected to ChirpStack. That's easy, isn't it? With the gateway configuration complete, let's log in to ChirpStack. Simply enter your username and password, then click Submit. Navigate to Tenants and click Add Tenant. Enter a name and enable Tenant can have gateways. Click Submit. Navigate to Gateway and click Add Gateway. Enter a name and gateway ID. You can navigate to the packet forwarder in the gateway's configuration interface to find the gateway EUI. Click Submit. And let's navigate to LoRa 1 frames to check if gateway joins the network and keep online. After waiting for a while, we can see a join request. Click the dashboard to view the gateway status. Navigate to Gateway and ensure it is online, then we'll start the next step. Navigate to Device Profiles, click Add Device Profile and enter the name and region. For Mile Site Devices, the Mac version is 1.0.2 or 1.0.3, Regional Parameters Revision is B. Select OTA or ABP with a single switch, according to your sensor's join type. Turn it on for OTA, off for ABP. Now, let's take OTA as an example. If your device is Class B or Class C, just enable the right class type according to your needs. Then you can click Codec to add decoders of sensors as required. You can choose either Kyan LPP or JavaScript functions. Here, we use JavaScript functions as an example. For mile site sensors, you can find the right decoders at the link below and paste them into the codec page. Note the keep the entry function for ChirpStack version 4 and delete other entry functions. Click submit and the device profile will be added successfully. Navigate to applications, click add application and enter the name to create an application. In the application you created in the last step, Click Add Device and fill in the basic information for the device. Click Submit to add a new device. For mile site sensors, there are two types for joining network, OTA and ABP. If you have select OTA device profile, enter the application key of sensors. Click Submit to add a new device. P.S. You can copy the application key from user guide. If you have select ABP device profile, Click Activation and enter the device address, network session key and application session key of the sensor. Finally click Activate Device to add a new device. Let's navigate to LoRa 1 frames to check if sensor joins the network and send uplink data. We can see that the sensor is connected. 
Then we can go to events to check the details of received packets. Here we can see the received data. Great. Here's we comes the last part of today's video. Go to queue and set the parameters as needed. The command contents can be found on corresponding product user guide. Click in queue to send the downlink command. With your MileSite devices now online and sending data to ChirpStack, you're ready to explore and customize your IoT solutions with ease. We hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching.